Uh, we've been using Z-Wave since it first came out. We're, like I said, we're uh, one of the early pioneers of it. Uh, we've, I think we probably have at least 10 versions of the Z-Wave thermostat certified. Uh, we OEM to a lot of uh, other companies. So we love Z-Wave. We are a principal member of the Alliance, and proudly. And, and, uh, yes, we were uh, one of the uh, founding members uh, for Z-Wave, along with a few others, and uh, we've seen a great run with the technology. What it's uh, enabled us to do in the Lebanon products is develop the uh, ecology and ecosystem of products which we interop with. So, so Z-Wave is a great technology that we've been looking for quite a while and a couple of years ago we kind of landed on it um, due to uh, technology research, you know, part of the, uh, the uh, advanced development that, that we're looking at. Z-Wave is a great interoperability technology that allows to provide our communication to different devices. So, you know, between our environmental control group that makes the, the thermostat and our group that makes the Honeywell, uh, you know, the, the security system, we found a technology that can tie the thermostat into the security system. So actually it's a great technology that we use to, to promote our Z-Wave is the primary technology we're using in our Tahoma product controller and our integrated uh, solutions. Obviously we made a, a choice based on, on what's available and what has been proven to work and we have done extensive testing of different technologies and found that Z-Wave is the best fit. Again, that interactivity, that uh, coordination, uh, and that compatibility, uh, to be quite frank, is really what makes different uh, the difference uh, in the technology of Z-Wave versus some of the other protocols that we see out there in the marketplace. And it's performed very, very well for us. What we've done is develop various interfaces for our digital and also RF controlled motors that allow us to bridge Z-Wave technology to the SOMPI motor technology. Sure, so Grandcare is a digital home health technology, so what we do is we um, offer a solution for individuals to age independently at home um, using our technology in order to help them socialize with family and friends, uh, the caregivers to actively and remotely monitor and assess their activity of daily living and their wellness. And Z-Wave is one of our uh, protocols of choice that we use in order to in uh, actively um, assess how that person is doing at home. Did, you know, did they get out of bed during the night and not return within 45 minutes? Did they access their meds? Um, did they access the fridge at mealtime? Did they leave the house in the middle of the night? All of these things that could be considered sort of warning red flag symptoms to let them know that you know, everything was not okay and that they should intervene. So I, I would say when I uh, got involved in the home automation products in the late 90s for my company and in the industry, uh, the saying was home automation is five years away and always will be. Uh, and we all chuckle about that. What we're all saying now is it's here and now. There are mass deployments of these devices out there. Uh, the trends are for even more of these things to happen. And we see, particularly in the security space, a huge adoption uh, for these systems. Of course, the standalone lighting systems and, and automation are excellent markets. But I think when we attach and integrate in the security products with the lighting, the real value proposition shows. And, and we're seeing it based on the numbers. It really is. Uh, certainly, uh, we were uh, tasked with the project in Las Vegas for the Wynn Hotel. Um, that was the largest insulate, RF installation to date. Uh, full lighting control, motorization as well of shades and draperies, uh, thermostatic control, scene controllers, everything that really makes uh, the experience for the guest as easy and seamless and, uh, and interactive as possible, but also uh, keeping all of the products very easy to use. So that was key in, in, in us being awarded that project. Uh, we did install 65,000 devices at that hotel. Last year we released the radiator thermostat, the product that we've been waiting for quite a while, or that we've been working on for quite a while. It's uh, controlling water-based radiators, which is the most common form of heating in uh, residential homes in uh, Europe. And I mean, the installed base is several uh, millions. So if we can just upgrade a few percent every year, we have a, a nice market for a long time. Is the pro a, lot of, a lot of new products in the queue, uh, a lot of new thermostats, 
Uh, we can e continue to evolve our energy management products. We have full house meters, uh, large load controllers for load uh, controlling pool pumps, hot water heaters. So upgraded capabilities like network wide inclusion and some other uh, interesting capabilities that we can talk about another time. I think that uh, we'll see those uh, as major movers in the market. Basically easier setup, easier use, uh, better uh, deployment strategies and all these things help benefit the installer and the consumer. We have our, uh, our Evolve AI Z-Wave tablet, which is just surfacing now. Uh, it's scheduled for uh, the beginning of 2013. Uh, first, the Z-Wave tablet, so we're very excited about it. Uh, and it is going to be uh, able to control the guest room and a lot of other excitement. We have uh, official two products, certified products, but we are working on the new products and we forecast in the next uh, two years to make a 15 products in that, in that way. Systems into our, uh, um, you know, the home automation and connected home uh, within, within Honeywell. You know, we definitely have a lot of different products that we can integrate together. Z-Way is going to be a different, good, a good engine to, to go towards that direction. We are looking at uh, uh, more solutions with the home control box from Tuxedo to something like a gateway that we talked about in the meeting. Uh, to something that you know that that you know it's embedded into a uh, uh, maybe a mobile device eventually. So absolutely.